Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III doing a paid review. Dear Archie, g'day. I've been watching your channel for over a year now, and although lately it's not what it used to be, I'm a strong fan of yours and will always watch. Fuck! When I say it's not what it used to be, I mean you used to be more technical and go through more watch comparisons and so on. I would honestly like if you did some specials on each brand on Iconic Watches and explain more in depth the pros and cons, of course, with your unique style and camera presence. Fair point. Anyhow, I'm sad your ratings are going down, but I think you have a strong fan base which is waiting for more quality content. I've just sent you 30 US dollars and intend on doing it on a monthly basis. Thank you. But I don't have a complete collection yet for your review, nor I want anything in return. You don't have to make a video or anything. I always have had a passion for watches, and over the last two years, and ha uh, after watching your channel, I've decided to get serious about it. Currently, I own a Panerai 176, which I bought with my first ever salary, and recent <coughs> recently purchased a Rolex Datejust 2 116334 on the occasion of my wedding. Well done! It was love at first sight, as has been with most of my watch purchases so far. The watch, not the woman. I bought it in Greece at a very decent retail price of 6-7 euros, without receipt of course. Anyhow, I am now days away from the third edition of Jaeger Lecoultre Grand Reverso Calendar and frankly this mainly was due to your brainwashing. Thank you. Jokes apart, this is a classic beauty and I think is a versatile watch and can be used in many occasions. I think I can get it around 8,000 euro retail with discount and tax refund. I am a little bit cautious with purchases over the net or phone. Since I am in Korea, I can't take any chances. I think above retail prices are not bad. What do you think? Next in line, I am 36, so this is a long-term plan. A Speedmaster, a Glass Hood Original Senator 60s, which I quite like, a Pam 338, an IWC Aquatimer, and a vintage IWC Portuguese. Now I know this is a big line and I have not yet decided which ones I will end up with yet, but I think a six watch collection is what I have in mind. Needless to say, a Patek Nautilus is at the end of the line after 10 or so years. In any case, in any case, keep strong and hope you will find a good way to reclaim back your declining viewers. Perhaps you could make some videos on other luxury items such as famous watches, per soles or clothing, or even perfumes, although I know you're not a fan. Knives, list is as long as these days, just luxury items of all sorts. Perfume is not is my other obsession and I think I've wasted over fifteen thousand dollars in those. My cabinet is full if I could assist if you wanted to be informed in the that kind of stuff attached some pictures of the watches take care and keep making interesting and entertaining vids all the best wowzers fuckers what a great vid and uh i gotta tell you that's a very interesting story i really like this story is great so his first watch was a Panerai 176 he bought with his first salary. Cool. That's a, a Panerai is a decent watch. And then you recently got a Datejust 2 1166 116334. That was when he got married. Well done. Well done. And uh, then you're looking at a Jaeger Le Coultre Reverso calendar. I love the calendar. That is a cool piece. A triple date. That is, that's, I tell you what, if I didn't have the Reverso Grand Date, I fucking think the, um, the Reverso calendar would be a piece I'd seriously consider. It is a fucking cool, cool, cool piece. And uh, 
I can understand your um, your logic there. So that's three really cool pieces. I love it. Now, as for your list there, I, I uh, you want to get a Speedmaster. That's good. You need you need a Speedmaster man on the moon. Yes, I agree. Uh, the glass hoot. I, I don't know if I'd be going that way. I, 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 I don't know if you need it because, yeah, I just, I don't think you need it. One Pam is enough. Don't get any more. One Pam is enough. You are a married man. She's not going to let you buy frivolous stuff here. So just calm it down. These are not your single days, okay? Let me fucking tell you. The Aqua Timer. Again, I'd get one. I, I, I would get the IWC Portuguese. I, I, I kind of think a, uh, a Breguet Type 20 could be better than that. Great bang per buck on the used market. And uh, a Patek down the track, that's something to, to aim for. Ten years or so, yeah, for your 50th. Yes, yeah, so um, lovely collection there. I don't know if Erin Dawes is going to let you buy all that stuff there. I mean, obviously you haven't been married for long. I don't think you quite realise how these wenches work. I don't think they'll quite allow that, so... Uh, yeah, I kind of think you've got some three stunners. Three stunners. I love the Panner. I love the Rolex. Love the Reverso. Three good pieces. Slow down! Slow down! It's like a truck semi-trailer. You're coming down a big hill. Slow down! Don't use the air brakes. You'll cook the brakes. You'll cook and you you got to use the gears, so I'd just be slowing down a bit there. Lovely collection. Great start to the to the uh, the way you've done things. And, uh, yeah, I really love it. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. Cut! We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.